my friends, it's me, Marga, and today I'm going to be thrifting at the Ukay Ukays here in Cubao. Cubao is kind of a nostalgic place for me to Ukay because I used to come here a lot when I was in college and I was just starting Ukay shopping. That was the first time that I didn't have uh, to wear a uniform to school. So I was more free to explore my style, to wear something different. And of course, I wanted to have a bit of variety in my wardrobe without spending too much because it, my parents certainly weren't giving me a lot of money to spend on clothes, right? Um, and back then, I, I wasn't as equipped with the things that I think would make the Ukay or thrifting experience much better. Let me take you through my top five essentials when it comes to going ukai shopping so these are the things that i try to always bring with me because some people are looking at me recording anyway so these are the things that i always try to bring with me whenever i go ukai shopping if i don't it feels like i i'm not doing it properly first is of course you gotta bring an outfit or you gotta wear an outfit that makes it easy to shop so it's different from shopping in a brand new store because obviously things are used things can be dusty they're sometimes dirty also sometimes ukai ukais are really hot walang aircon so i'm wearing just some cycling shorts i'm wearing a bra and then I'm wearing a loose uh, polo. The cycling shorts are easy to put over pants or even a skirt or shorts and you know it doesn't bulk up. So, uh, another tip is, okay this is gonna be a little silly but I am wearing shoes <laughs> I am wearing shoes with socks because when I do try on new shoes there or I'm trying on shoes there I don't want to wear them with my bare feet. So my next essential, honestly, hindi ko siya madalas na dadala sa ukay ukay but when I do bring it she makes me feel very powerful and that is a tape measure. If you're buying for someone else, if you feel like if there there are no places for you to fit it's usually good to have a tape measure so that you have a good idea of uh, how the item will probably fit you not only do you use up a lot more resources by getting plastic bags or paper bags in the store but an eco bag is also much easier to carry around than a plastic bag or a paper bag so i highly suggest bringing one i have a pretty big one from i think it's from uniqlo so i have a really nice big eco bag from uniqlo i try not to bring more than one one to two bags at a time the reason for that is it helps me control my spending and also I don't want to like keep track of a lot of different things so, okay up next is another essential that I always try to carry with me whenever I go ukay, and that is a hands-free bag today I will I'm bringing a bigger fanny so it's more of a body bag this is a porter body bag that I got from Carousel. This Today is the perfect time to bring it because I'm bringing my camera and I'm also gonna bring my last essential which is a tumbler of water. Oh my gosh, cannot stress this enough. This is so important. Now that we're all set, I'm gonna go to the Ukay Ukay. See you in a bit and we are going to see what's in store for us today. take you through the whole day as I explore Cobao and I started off with having a light snack. I had one piece of Kalihim from that Victory Breads uh, place and it turns out they have different branches all over Cobao. The Kalihim was okay but the ube flavor was pretty good. And then just outside of Gateway Mall, so if you come out of Gateway Mall uh, and then you turn right uh, going to National Bookstore, just keep going there and you're gonna end up at Clip and Hanger. It's gonna be the first ukai that you're gonna see and it is a favorite Kobao ukai by a lot of people. So if you search Kobao ukai, this is gonna be a likely place that you're gonna see. And I understand why. It's it's actually very well organized. There are a lot of nice quality pieces that you can see here. Some dupes and just a few good leather bags. Like this one is really nice with the floral appliques. And then this one is a printed pair of pants that are really pretty, but uh, I'm not really into skinny jean silhouettes right now. 
these pants are really nice so I didn't bother fitting them to see if they fit me I just really wasn't in the need for pants and yeah like I said there are some nice bags here that you can see and then there's just this one shelf full of shoes I don't know if they're designer shoes so the one that I was holding they weren't designer but they were the leather vintage shoes and then when you get to the second floor of the store it's actually a big store there's this entire section dedicated to shoes and they're all lined up very nicely so you see all the white shoes there they have a lot of sneakers and like i said you can find everything at the thrift and these solomon sneakers well i don't know if these exact this exact model is uh the trending product right now or the trending shoe right now but everyone seems to like it and well you can find them at the thrift if you just want the vibe of the solomon shoes yeah so i love the shoe selection there though i didn't really see anything that i wanted to bring home and so if you keep going straight down and um, going towards edsa you're gonna hit decibel this is also a popular place for ukai shoppers so if you notice like you'll see the same people going to this first store and then you go to the second store so everyone's exploring pretty much the same places decibel looks really small at first but it also goes a bit deep in so the f um a lot of the new arrival items which is very typical are usually up front and then the discounted or sale items are at the back i didn't really see anything in the caps though i'm always looking for something that is of good quality so i can use it when i'm playing sports i am showing you a few things that i saw that i thought were really cute like this varsity shirt uh, there were some varsity shirts that were really nice i think Decibel had a great selection of shirts that were around 50 pesos each. Uh, but I, I, you know, I was really careful about picking which ones I get because I just have so many t-shirts. Like this yellow one was really, really nice. It just had some stains that I didn't want to deal with. So I ended up leaving it behind. And then towards the side of the store, so it's kind of an L-shaped or I don't know how to describe it. But to the side of the store is their bric-a-brac section. It, you have toys, you have appliances, so non-clothing items. So I would say that this is one of the better places to find non-clothing pieces because uh, in for clip and hanger, it's just clothes and shoes and bags. But this one, they have clothes. Like this tennis skirt was really nice. If it were in my size, I probably would have gotten it. And then there was this food panda bag that I posted actually on Instagram and everyone kept asking me where it was or where the store was. So hopefully someone was able to get it because um, apparently it's a very kitschy in-demand piece. So just a little sneak peek of what I did end up getting. Not a lot. Uh, then I went to the store next door, which is right here. And I think around this time, a lot of the stores just had their new arrival. So things were a bit more pricey. But this store I always like. I, I end up buying stuff here whenever I drop by because they do have a nice selection. And for the price, they're not the cheapest place, I would say. But the selection is really good. The quality of the pieces are good. The shoes were great. Like these Pumas are nice. Uh, I think these are Adidas. These black pumps were really interesting. And yeah, just some vintage uh, shoes also that were nice. But nothing that really stood out for me. It's just I really appreciated how everything was uh, visually merchandised. I think it was conducive to browsing. Like look at the bags. It's not completely packed you know there's room for everything to breathe so you can just uh, keep going through them and it, it's not chaotic and there were some nice bags and I thought that they were decently priced like this uh, silken bag is I think 180 pesos and then there's this faux denim patchwork bag it was so, so also cute I have been really into thrifting bags lately but I find that buying them sa ukay ukay mismo tends to be a little expensive, so I am discouraged. But this time around, I was pleasantly surprised by the bags I saw in this store because they were nice and, like I said, hindi ako na bill shock sa halaga nila. So if you want to buy bags, this is the place. Okay, time check. I think I gotta go.
for a good part of the afternoon, I was at Manam in the new Gateway. So there's actually going to be a new Gateway Mall now. And Manam is one of the first restaurants there. And I was there with my colleague Nikki because she was hosting a Japanese influencer who is visiting the Philippines. Or she's actually going to be staying for a few months and wanted to feature Manam. So uh, I helped Nikki out with that. And it was nice showing Mana. Uh, all the food that we had to offer at Mana. It's a really interesting take on Filipino food and I'm always proud to see people appreciate it for the very first time. You know, everybody has their Manam favorites, but if you have been there several times and you want something a little different, I highly recommend the Kare Kare, which is so good, like just so peanutty and perfect. And also, my other favorite is the Buho Pai and the Buho Pandan Shake. I mean, everything in Manam is good, but if you just want to try something different, go for it, guys. I really loved spending time at the new gateway, but now it's time to go back in Uhai. Welcome to our fourth and final Ukai store of the day and this is the Hansel Arcade right across uh, Gateway Mall or the LRT station so if you cross the LRT coming from Gateway towards Aurora uh, this is going to be right across that area and it turned out to have the biggest selection of items as well as the biggest variety of items they pretty much offer everything and I tried really hard to see like to comb through all the racks and all the things to see if there's anything interesting because you know with these types of stores you really never know what you're gonna find like these old COVID medications like these COVID tests that we we're selling for 20 pesos each I mean crazy right that felt like a, a lifetime ago but apparently you can now relive the memories at the Uchai Uchai Anyway, um, I think that this used to be a mall of sorts and then they all had different stalls but now that it became one Uhai, everything was segmented into the stall so there's one bag uh, stall and then you have a designer item stall or like their selected item store so things were a little more expensive and um, yeah like some, some cute things like this heart bag is really nice um, some beaded pieces as well I didn't get any bags here uh, nothing really um, really called to me that day this fanny pack was cute these sunglasses were so cute um, I considered getting them for my niece but also it's like sunglasses who you know when you're that young do you need sunglasses I don't know anyway uh, browse some shoes though nothing was particularly great or was at least my size and they also have a lot of kids stuff so there were rollerblades for kids there were scooters there were I think there was a bike but I didn't really see um, the the sunnies and the eyeglasses were there's a lot of them but not something nothing that was amazing like one or two things that were nice they also have sporting goods so there were tennis rackets and I think badminton rackets though I think the tennis rackets were mostly for kids so I didn't bother looking at the pieces one by one there were also accessories like great organization by the way so you really see everything and you know there's a lot of room to be creative here because I think they even had like art materials like old crayons old colored pencils that you could just buy per piece so that was nice if you just you know want to work on a project and then the typography of all the signs were also pretty interesting to uh, look at so I did record some of those and then the home decor was nice too just a little shelf full of trinkets that may or may not be cute now or in the future I didn't really get anything though there were some things that I thought were cool but after that, it was finally time to go home. I was very tired, but very happy with my Uhai trip. And so I hope that you enjoyed spending the day with me. And I'll see you soon. Bye!